that's his role, one of his roles. Okay, now, all that I have said in, uh, for the past 45 minutes, is, is based on three important aspects of the character of God. Ah. We're narrowing the truth now. All are based on three important aspects of the character of God, and those three aspects of the character of God are these. How does he forgive sin? How does he grant eternal life? And what is the sin that still separates man from God? Remember, God is not separated from man because Jesus satisfied God's holiness and his justice by being made sin for us. Uh, uh, he died for the whole sins of the whole world, past, present, and future. Before he came, people looked forward to him. Now that he's come and gone, we look back to him. But Christianity is based on three aspects of the character of God. He's sovereign. What do you want me to do, Lord, to be made acceptable to you or to gain access into your presence? What do you want me to do? How does God forgive sin? Plain and simple. He made his son who knew no sin to be sin for us, and he crucified him as a payment for all sin. For a born-again Christian, Sin does not send you to hell. Some, some of you might have thought you misunderstood me. I said for the born again Christian, sin does not send you to hell. It brings on divine chastisement. Uh, that's 1 Corinthians. I think 3, 11 through 15 explains it. Romans 5, 1 through 5. Romans 8, 1, 2. Romans 8, 29. It's in there. And because someone doesn't know it, doesn't make it not so. You just don't know it. But God is absolute. He'll punish you for what you don't know. Ask Uzai. Ask the fellow that killed Saul. David had him killed because he wasn't supposed to touch God's anointed. And by him being a stranger, he didn't know nothing about the rule. Now, how does God grant eternal life? By grace, through faith in his son, through sanctification, setting apart work of the Holy Spirit and our belief, a man's belief in the truth. You can find examples in Numbers 21, 8 and 9, and John 3, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. Galatians 3, 26. Romans 3, 20, 26, 25, 26. So, the sin that separates man from God is a post-resurrection sin of unbelief in Jesus Christ. You remember what Jesus said in John chapter 16, verses 7 
through 11, it's expedient that I go away, for if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But if I go, he will come, and when he come, he will convict the world or convince the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment of sin because they believe not on me. And he said, nothing about drinking liquor. Drinking liquor has nothing to do with you getting to heaven. Drinking liquor has something to do with a Christian and divine chastisement. Hmm. Now, I'm almost finished with this, this one piece of paper. But let me say this, and this is a good place to stop this segment because we're gonna, we, we have a part two coming up where we continue this, this question uh, and, and answer. <clears throat> but for now, I wanna tell you about this might seem strange to you if you're hearing something like this for the first time, but um, this type of gospel uh, has been taught in, in Guyana, South America for the last nine years. Um, it's been taught in South Africa for the last um, four years. It's been, been taught in Guinea uh, for the last... Um, three years, but it was being taught in Guinea before I got there because there are pastors in Guinea that can explain what you just heard today better than I can. Uh-huh. And it is being taught in Liberia for the last two years. And it's called Christ to save you, ministry Bible school. It's a ministry of Christ to save your ministry. We have a church Bible school. It's not an academic setting. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. Those terms, discernment, enlightenment, understanding, comprehension, those are spiritual terms. And um, in the next segment, I'll tell you a little bit more about it because we have a program where you can participate in sharing this gospel all over the world. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It gets better and better and better. And you'll find that out in the second half. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.